So we have the frame, we have the mesh, and we have the spline which is going to hold the mesh in place. And the tools I'm going to use for this are the spline tool, the knife, and the screwdriver. So what I do is I lay the frame down, and the idea with meshing is to start on the, the longest side. So what I'm going to do is roll out the mesh. Now the beauty of this system is that we don't have to trim the mesh until it's in place, so it makes it that much easier to work with. I just make sure there's a good overlap all the way around. <coughs> And do my spline. So what I'm going to do, and the key on this, this first, the first two sides, is that we are aiming just to get the mesh straight on both sides and inserted without putting tension on at this point. So I start with the top left hand corner. I'm just laying the spline into place here. And we have two different ends to the spline tool, one which is conve convex and one which is concave. The, the concave one here is the first one I'm going to use. And this just sits on top of the spline and helps to locate it. So what I'm going to do is stand next to the, the frame here. I'm going to hold the spline in place and just roll the spline into the channel was holding the screen and just holding the, the spine in front. Just keep going. The, the best way is if you can have a, a good continuous movement. And what you can also do is if you wish is to use a clamp on each corner just to hold that down whilst you're putting the mesh into place. And I then use my other end just to drive that spline down into the bottom of the channel. Now it's always best to, to, to move the screen around rather than to, to walk around the screen so that you're in the same position when you're insert, inserting the spline into each side of the frame. And when you get to the corner, we tend to just leave the, the spline out a little bit, turn it round the corner, just leave a little bit of slack. And what we're making sure we do is that we're not putting a lot of tension on the corner here. Again, we use a concave just to locate, just holding the spline in front of the mesh and using the convex end just to drive it home. Now what we do when we get to the corners, this is where we use the flat headed screwdriver, we're just going to push it just into the corner just to tuck it away so that it's safely located. And again, move the screw round. Again, into the corner, just leaving a little bit of a loop. And at this point now, we're going to try and put a little bit of tension on the mesh, just so that it takes out the slack. And the key is just to feel this a little bit tight, but not too tight. And again, work our way down. Trying to keep a continuous movement. And again, push it home into the corner. As you'll see here, that this has now got a, a nice bit of tension, not too much, taking the slack out of the mesh. Again, turn it around the corner. At this point, again, looking for a little bit of tension, but not too much. Using the spine tool, just to put it away. And into the corner. Now you notice this is moving around a little bit, and what we can do, if you wish, 
is just to clamp the screen into place on the corners or you can get someone else to hold the screen on the other side just to hold it in place. What I then do is just to finish off is to take my knife and just cut the spline just so that we can tuck that into the corner again. So at this point we now have a, a screen with a mesh in place and what I'm going to do next is show you how to trim.